that's hot enough to melt copper or gold or silver or you caution on collision course with eruption plume <gasps> oh no hang on Solar System Odyssey is a full dome show featuring an out of work or retired uh, space fleet commander who's been given a, a one last mission to go out and find a new home for uh, humanity out in the solar system. Mr. Trout, Jack Larson. I know. Larson, I'll get straight to the point. We like to outdo ourselves with each show. It's our third show that we've done. It was difficult because we had to tackle a lot of new techniques and challenges. In a dome, there's nowhere to hide. If there's something you don't want somebody to see, you have to get rid of it, or you have to incorporate it into a way that it's now visually appealing. A lot of our sci-fi conventions that we're, we're familiar with, we had to adapt them for technically accurate environment. We also had to, you know, we had a lot of assets to be in charge of, and a lot of them had to be made by hand because of the fact that we were doing a different kind of cartoony style. Asteroid belt. Oh, Beamer, cancel hyperdrive. The tunnel effect is incredibly powerful on the dome. In order to avoid sharp cutting, we try and think about moving from one space into another space or using objects in that space to create a tunnel to another space. I think if you do it, creatively and if you present the concept of moving through one space into another space is a natural progression on the dome because you're immersed in the image and if you were to just snap to another space people are disoriented hang on i'm taking us below the haze so animating for a dome is difficult in the sense that perceived speed changes on the scale of the image so as you're moving around and you're in your monitor and you're looking at your image, what takes you know, several seconds from, to move from one side of the screen to another seems, seems fairly nice on your monitor, but when you put it on the dome, actually starts to really just scream across the screen when you get to a larger, larger dome. The mission is important. I'm a huge fan of science fiction, and I love when science is integrated into science fiction. I find that excellent opportunities to teach through story, in a, in a way, in, more about inspiring young people to be interested in science. And when everybody's competing for their attention, and it's nice to be able to you know, stand up and say, well, we have a 60-foot dome that can take you anywhere. That kind of gets their attention. <laughs>